Imagine living a life where nothing disrupts your inner peace, where you're unaffected by insults, challenges, or surrounding chaos. How empowering would that be? Today, we'll explore 10 transformative Buddhist principles that can help you achieve this calm state of mind. As Buddha once said, peace comes from within. Do not seek it outside. Let's discover together how to create this inner sanctuary. Principle 1. Insults and Offenses In Buddhism, we learn that insults and offenses only have power if we give them power. Picture someone throwing a rock into a pond. The water ripples but eventually returns to stillness. Similarly, when someone says something hurtful, it can disturb our peace briefly, but we can choose to let it go and return to our calm state. Buddha said holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. This means when we cling to anger and resentment, we suffer, not the person who insulted us. Their words often reflect their own issues rather than ours. By recognizing that others' words mirror their state of mind, we can respond with compassion instead of letting their negativity affect us. This way, we stay unaffected and keep our inner peace, like the pond returning to stillness after the ripples fade. Principle 2. Transform everyone into a teacher. In Buddhism, we're encouraged to view every person we meet as a teacher. This means everyone, whether they bring us joy or challenges, has something valuable to teach us. As Buddha taught, when you take care of yourself, you take care of others. When you take care of others, you take care of yourself. Adopting this perspective helps us turn negative experiences into chances for growth. For example, if someone is unkind to us, we can learn patience and compassion. Viewing others as our teachers keeps us open-minded and less affected by negativity. Every interaction then becomes an opportunity to learn and grow, helping us stay centered and resilient. Principle 3. Transform envy into emulation. Instead of feeling envy, Buddhism encourages us to turn envy into emulation. When we see someone succeeding or possessing qualities we admire, we can choose to be inspired rather than envious. As Buddha said, do not be jealous of others' good qualities, but, out of admiration, adopt them yourself. Instead of feeling bad about ourselves, we can use the success of others as motivation to improve ourselves. By admiring and learning from them, we can grow and get better without feeling diminished. Transforming envy into emulation helps us stay positive and focused on our own progress, unaffected by comparisons and negativity. Principle 4. Be strict with yourself, but tolerant of others. Buddhism teaches us to hold ourselves to high standards while being tolerant of others' faults. This means we should strive for personal excellence without being harsh or judgmental towards others. As Buddha said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. By being strict with ourselves, we focus on our own growth and improvement, becoming more disciplined and developing a stronger sense of self-respect. At the same time, being tolerant of others helps us cultivate empathy and understanding, recognizing that everyone is on their own journey. This balanced approach fosters both personal development and better relationships with others. By practicing self-discipline and tolerance, we remain calm and composed, unaffected by others' actions or mistakes. This way, we build a harmonious life filled with personal growth and compassionate connections. Principle 5. No one can hurt you. Buddhism teaches that no one can truly hurt us without our consent. This means that while others' actions can be hurtful, how we react to them is under our control. As Buddha said, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. When we develop a strong sense of self and inner peace, 
we become resilient to external harm. Imagine a tree standing firm against a strong wind. It may bend, but doesn't break. Similarly, by cultivating inner strength, we can handle life's challenges without being deeply affected. This principle encourages us to take responsibility for our own well-being rather than blaming others for our pain. By focusing on building our inner resilience through practices like meditation, mindfulness and self-reflection, we strengthen our inner core and become less susceptible to external negativity. Understanding that no one can hurt us without our consent empowers us and gives us the freedom to choose how we respond to life's difficulties. By maintaining our inner peace and not letting others' actions disturb us, we live a more serene and empowered life. Principle 6. The Power of Acceptance Acceptance is a powerful tool in Buddhism. It involves embracing things as they are, without resistance or judgment. As Buddha taught, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. When we accept situations and people as they are, we free ourselves from the pain of trying to change things beyond our control. This doesn't mean we become passive. Instead, it means we acknowledge the present moment and respond with clarity and wisdom. Acceptance allows us to save our energy for positive actions rather than wasting it on resistance. Imagine being in a boat on a river. Fighting against the current will tire you out, but by accepting the flow, you can navigate more effectively. Similarly, by accepting life's ups and downs, we can handle challenges more smoothly. Practicing acceptance also fosters compassion and understanding. When we accept others' flaws and all, we build stronger, more empathetic relationships, creating a supportive environment where everyone feels valued and understood. Acceptance doesn't mean we stop striving for improvement. It means we do so from a place of peace and understanding. By embracing the present moment and letting go of resistance, we reduce our suffering and maintain calm and contentment, no matter the circumstances. This inner peace allows us to live more fully and joyfully, unaffected by life's inevitable changes. Principle 7. Living according to nature. Living in harmony with nature and its rhythms helps us stay grounded. As Buddha said, just as a candle cannot burn without fire, Man cannot live without a spiritual life. This principle encourages us to align our lives with the natural world and its cycles. By living according to nature, we recognize the interconnectedness of all life and appreciate the beauty and balance of our surroundings. For example, the changing seasons teach us about growth, decay and renewal, reminding us that change is a natural part of life. By following natural rhythms, such as waking with the sunrise and resting when it sets, we enhance our physical and mental well-being. This alignment with nature helps us feel more balanced and less stressed. It also promotes a healthier lifestyle, encouraging activities like spending time outdoors, eating whole foods, and practicing mindfulness. Living according to nature also means respecting and protecting the environment, fostering a sense of responsibility and stewardship for the planet. Embracing the simplicity and wisdom of nature helps us let go of modern stresses, creating a more peaceful and fulfilling life. By focusing on essentials and reducing unnecessary complexities, we remain unaffected by artificial stresses, finding solace and strength in the natural world. Integrating nature's wisdom into our daily lives helps us stay connected to our true selves and the world around us, promoting a deeper sense of harmony and resilience. Principle 8. Focus on ethical living. Ethical living is central to Buddhism. Buddha taught, the mind is everything, what you think you become. This profound teaching highlights the power of our thoughts and their direct impact on our lives. In Buddhism, 
Ethical living involves following principles such as honesty, compassion, and respect for all living beings. It starts with understanding that our actions, words, and thoughts have consequences. This is summed up in the law of karma, which teaches that our deeds create ripples that return to us in some form. By focusing on right actions and moral behavior, we build a foundation of integrity that shields us from negative influences. This means being truthful in our words, kind in our actions, and fair in our dealings with others. When we live ethically, we create positive karma, leading to a more peaceful and harmonious life. For example, practicing honesty builds trust and reliability, which strengthens relationships and fosters a sense of community. Speaking truthfully creates an atmosphere of trust and transparency, helping us form deeper and more meaningful connections with others. Acts of kindness and compassion not only benefit those around us, but also bring us joy and fulfillment. Simple gestures, like helping a neighbor or showing empathy to a friend, can greatly enhance our well-being and happiness. Respecting all living beings, including animals and nature, strengthens our connection to the world and promotes harmonious coexistence. Ethical living also helps us maintain a clear conscience, reducing guilt and regret that can disturb our inner peace. It encourages us to think before we act, ensuring that our actions align with our values and do not harm others. By avoiding actions that cause harm, such as lying, stealing, or engaging in violence, we prevent negative consequences and preserve our mental and emotional well-being. This self-awareness and reflection enable us to handle life's challenges calmly and with a clear mind. Ethical living involves self-discipline and self-control. It requires us to avoid behaviors that lead to suffering, such as dishonesty or harm. Practicing self-restraint and making thoughtful choices strengthen our moral character and resilience. For instance, abstaining from gossip not only prevents harm to others, but also keeps our minds free from negativity. Gossip can lead to conflict and misunderstandings, while choosing to forgive rather than hold grudges releases us from anger and resentment, fostering a more peaceful state of mind. Forgiveness allows us to move forward without being burdened by past grievances, opening the path to healing and reconciliation. Focusing on ethical living according to Buddhist principles helps us create a life of integrity, peace and harmony. It shields us from negative influences and allows us to positively impact the world around us. By practicing these principles, we grow in wisdom and compassion becoming a source of inspiration and support for others. Our ethical behavior sets an example, encouraging a community and society that values moral principles. By living ethically, we enhance our own lives and contribute to a better world for everyone. Integrating ethical living into our daily lives strengthens our moral compass, guiding us in making the right decisions, even in tough situations. This inner strength and clarity help us navigate life's complexities with confidence and grace. Furthermore, ethical living cultivates a sense of purpose and fulfillment, as we know our actions contribute to the greater good. This sense of purpose is a powerful motivator, sustaining us through difficult times and inspiring us to strive for excellence. Ethical living is not just about following rules, it's about embodying values that define who we are and how we interact with the world. It's about living with integrity, compassion and respect and creating a positive impact on the lives of those around us. By focusing on ethical living, we build a life that is meaningful, fulfilling, resilient and unshaken by external influences. Principle 9. Practice Gratitude Practicing gratitude is a powerful principle that can transform our perspective on life. Instead of focusing on what we lack or what's going wrong, gratitude shifts our attention to what we already have and what is going well. 
this simple change in focus can greatly improve our mental and emotional well-being. Buddha emphasized the importance of gratitude with the words, let us rise up and be thankful, for if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. This quote reminds us that there is always something to be thankful for, no matter how small. It encourages us to recognize and appreciate the positive aspects of our lives. In every situation, even on days that feel challenging or unproductive, practicing gratitude helps us recognize and appreciate the small blessings we often overlook. This might be something as simple as enjoying a beautiful sunrise, savoring our favorite food, receiving support from a loved one, or finding comfort in a warm home. By acknowledging these moments of joy and expressing thanks for them, we foster a positive outlook on life. Gratitude also acts as a shield against negativity and stress. When we focus on the good things in our lives, we are less likely to dwell on the negatives. This doesn't mean we ignore problems or pretend they don't exist, but rather we balance them with an awareness of the positives. Over time, this practice helps us develop a resilient mindset, making it easier to handle life's ups and downs. Expressing gratitude can also strengthen our relationships. When we show appreciation to others, it fosters a sense of connection and mutual respect. Whether it's thanking a friend for their support, appreciating a colleague's hard work, or acknowledging a stranger's kindness, these small acts of gratitude can deepen our bonds and create a more positive social environment. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routine can be simple and effective. Some people find it helpful to keep a gratitude journal where they write down a few things they are thankful for each day. This practice serves as a powerful reminder of the good in our lives, shifting our focus from what's missing to what's present. Others might practice gratitude through meditation or prayer, taking a few moments each day to reflect on their blessings and express their thanks. Another way to cultivate gratitude is through mindful observation. By paying close attention to our surroundings and the people in our lives, we can find many opportunities to be grateful. This might involve noticing the beauty of nature, the warmth of the sun, the sound of birds chirping, or the laughter of a loved one. Mindful observation helps us stay present and appreciate the richness of our experiences. Gratitude can also be expressed through acts of kindness. When we do something nice for someone else, it benefits them and reinforces our own sense of gratitude. Acts of kindness can be as simple as holding the door open for someone, offering a compliment, or helping a neighbor with their groceries. These actions create a ripple effect, spreading positivity and gratitude throughout our communities. In times of difficulty or stress, practicing gratitude can be especially beneficial. It reminds us that even in challenging times, there are still things to be thankful for. This perspective can provide comfort and hope, helping us navigate tough situations with greater resilience. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we maintain a sense of peace and contentment, even when life is difficult. Regularly acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives helps us stay grounded and positive. We build a positive outlook that protects us from negativity and stress. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can shift our perspective, improve our relationships, and enhance our overall well-being. As we integrate gratitude into our daily lives, we develop a mindset of abundance and positivity, helping us remain unaffected by challenges and negativity. Principle 10. Trust the process and let go of control. Trusting the process and letting go of the need to control everything is a fundamental Buddhist principle. Buddha taught that the root of suffering is attachment. This means that our desire to cling to specific outcomes, people or things, often leads to our own suffering. When we become attached to exact results or rigid expectations, we set ourselves up for disappointment and stress. 
By surrendering to the flow of life, we allow things to unfold naturally without forcing them. This doesn't mean we stop making efforts or pursuing goals. Instead, we do our best and then release our tight grip on how things must turn out. Trusting the process means having faith that things will work out as they are meant to, even if not exactly as we envisioned. Imagine you are in a river. If you try to swim against the current, you will exhaust yourself and make little progress. But if you go with the flow, you move smoothly and effortlessly. Similarly, in life, when we stop resisting and start accepting, we find a sense of peace and calm. This practice of letting go can be applied in various areas of life, such as relationships, career aspirations, or personal challenges. For example, in relationships, we often want to control how others behave or how situations should unfold. This can lead to frustration and conflict when things don't go as planned. By letting go, we can appreciate people for who they are and allow relationships to develop naturally. When we stop trying to mold others to fit our expectations, we open up to genuine connections and deeper understanding. Accepting people as they are, without trying to change them, fosters a sense of harmony and mutual respect. In our careers, we might have a specific vision of success and feel disheartened if we face obstacles or detours. By trusting the process, we understand that every experience, even setbacks, contributes to our growth and learning. We become more adaptable and open to new opportunities we might not have previously considered. Sometimes, what appears to be a failure or detour can actually be a stepping stone to something greater. By letting go of rigid career plans, we can discover paths that are more fulfilling and aligned with our true passions. Personal challenges, such as health issues or unexpected life changes, can also test our ability to let go of control. Instead of resisting these changes, we can choose to accept them and look for ways to adapt. This doesn't mean giving up, it means finding a new path that fits the current reality. For example, dealing with a chronic illness might require adjusting your lifestyle and finding new ways to enjoy life. By accepting and adapting, you can find peace and even new joys in your changed circumstances. Trusting the process also involves being present. When we focus too much on the future, we miss out on the present moment. By letting go of our need to control the future, we can fully engage with the here and now, finding joy and contentment in the present. Living in the moment allows us to appreciate life's small pleasures, like a beautiful sunset, a child's laughter, or a quiet moment of reflection. This principle encourages us to cultivate patience and trust, understanding that life has its own timing and rhythm. By letting go of our attachments and expectations, we navigate life's ups and downs with grace, becoming more resilient and less affected by external circumstances. Patience helps us endure life's waiting periods without anxiety. Trusting the process means believing that everything happens for a reason and in its own time. Remember, letting go is not a one-time event, but a continuous practice. It requires mindfulness and self-awareness. Whenever you find yourself trying to control outcomes or becoming overly attached to certain desires, take a step back, breathe, and remind yourself of the principle of non-attachment. Embrace uncertainty and trust that the process will guide you to where you need to be. Each time you practice letting go, you strengthen your ability to remain calm and centered, no matter what life throws at you. As Buddha said, you only lose what you cling to. By practicing non-attachment and trusting the process, you foster a deeper sense of peace and resilience. By trusting the process, we find peace within ourselves, no matter the chaos happening around us. Non-attachment doesn't mean being indifferent. Rather, it means engaging fully with life while letting go of the need to control every aspect. 
This approach allows us to experience life with a sense of freedom and joy, understanding that we are not defined by our circumstances, but by how we respond to them. Trusting the process involves having faith in the journey and believing that everything unfolds as it should. It teaches us to release our fears and anxieties about the future, trusting that we will have the strength and wisdom to handle whatever comes our way. By embracing this principle, we cultivate a deep inner peace that remains steady despite external events. Integrating these ten Buddhist principles into our daily lives helps us develop a state of mind where we remain unaffected by external influences. Remember, true peace comes from within. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with others seeking tranquility.